I do not know if the Pimps album may not have been another link in the daisy chain, but soon after, for my own safety, I decided to marry. It occurred to me that regular hours, home-cooked meals, all the conventions of marriage, the prophylactic routine of its bedroom activities and, who knows, the eventual flowering of certain moral values, of certain spiritual substitutes, might help me, if not to purge myself of my degrading and dangerous desires, at least to keep them under pacific control. A little money that had come my way after my father's death, nothing very grand, the Mirana had been sold long before. In addition to my striking, if somewhat brutal, good looks, allowed me to enter upon my quest with equanimity. After considerable, considerable deliberation, my choice fell on the daughter of a Polish doctor. The good man happened to be treating me for spells of dizziness and tachycardia. We played chess. His daughter watched me from behind her easel and inserted eyes or knuckles borrowed from me into the cubistic trash that accomplished Mrs. then painted instead of lilacs and lamps. Let me repeat with quiet force, I was, and still am, despite mes malheurs, an exceptionally handsome male, slow-moving, tall, with soft dark hair and a gloomy but all the more seductive cast of demeanor. Exceptional virility often reflects in the subject's displayable features a sullen and congested something that pertains to what he has to conceal. And this was my case. Well did I know, alas, that I could obtain at the snap of my fingers any adult female I chose. In fact, it had become quite a habit with me of not being too attentive to women lest they come toppling, blood ripe, into my cold lap. Had I been a Francais moyen with a taste for flashy ladies, I might have easily found among the many graced beauties that lashed my grim rock creatures far more fascinating than Valeria. My choice, however, was prompted by considerations whose essence was, as I realized too late, a piteous compromise, all of which goes to show how dreadfully stupid poor Humbert always was in matter of sex.